everybody, it's Whitney. Welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to do a little bit of a palette kind of show off, I guess. My palette library. I wanted to show you guys all the palettes that I have and just kind of go through them and show you the things that I use the most, the things I use the least, things that I don't use at all, things like that. So if you're into stuff like that, let's go ahead and jump into the video, all right? Okay, so. We're going to jump into the palette starting with the bigger ones first. So that's going to be like mainly my Morphe palettes. So let me just grab one. This is the Morphe 39S, the Such a Gem palette. And I still have my little piece of plastic in there that goes with it, which is very annoying. But isn't she a pretty palette? I mean, she's pretty. And all of these middle shades right here, all of these are toppers they're just simply glitter toppers so they don't really have much shade to them but uh, that's the 39s um, she's an okay palette i'll just be 100 percent honest i bought it just because it's like purples and i love purples but the palette performs meh it's okay i mean it's pretty to look at it's got some glitter in there but there's a few really good shades and there's a few shades that don't really show up at all so that palette is hit or miss with me. Okay, next I have the 35V from Morphe, the Stunning Vibes palette. This is what this one looks like. So that one's pretty boring to me, to be honest. I don't really remember why I got it. I think I just bought it just to be buying things, honestly. Maybe for these purples down here, I feel like. That one's pretty, and these blues up here, but I don't ever wear blue eyeshadow, so I really can't tell you why I bought this palette. <laughs> I wish that I could, but I can't. Okay, next we have the 35M Boss Mood palette. Now, I remember exactly why I bought this palette. This palette is really pretty, especially the greens. I bought it specifically for the greens up here. I was doing a Halloween look, and don't, sorry, excuse my nails. They look atrocious right now. Just don't even don't even look at them but uh, I bought this for a Halloween look specifically I was doing an alien look and I needed some kind of green so I just went for these greens over here and it tended to work out pretty well I thought I mean it was like two years ago and my makeup skills have definitely grown since then so the look would be better if I redid it but it wasn't half bad then maybe it was a little bad just just a little bad Okay, next for big palettes, I have the BH Cosmetics Zodiac palette. And this one, honestly, I used one time. I think I used it on St. Patrick's Day of year before last. No, last year. Yeah. And I used the shade Sagittarius, this one right here. Yeah. Haven't used this palette a whole lot. I really need to jump back into it, though, because it's... It's not an ugly palette by any means. It's just, it's just an ordinary palette. Okay, so next we'll do Jeffree Star palettes. So let me gather all those bad boys. Jeffree Star, okay. So I only have three Jeffree Star palettes. We'll start with the one that is being discontinued, the Alien palette. I'm so glad that I actually have this palette because it is being discontinued, like I said. So if you don't have it, snatch it up while you can. I think it might be already off the website. Um, I got mine on Poshmark and it's certified by the Poshmark people um, that it is an actual Jeffree Star palette, so no worries there. It's absolutely beautiful like as far as grungy palettes go I love this like this purple shade right here and this green shade up here I wear those together a lot love rocking a cut crease with that purple and that green and it is stunning absolutely love it I do wish the packaging was better on this it's a little bulky but so are all of my Morphe palettes so I can't complain too much um, I do like how it's like squishy feeling especially the eyes they're squishy so that's kind of neat but it is a pretty palette nonetheless all right next I have the Morphe X Jeffree Star palette so, so this one's really pretty I use this one a lot actually um, even the pressed glitter in here is pretty I find this one right here 
I dip into Casablanca a lot, this shade right here I find myself using, and the black called Fast Lane. I like to use those two together quite a bit. And this entire first row up here is just really pretty to me. And it actually says, welcome back to my channel, Juan Noise. <laughs> So that's just really cute to me. I think that's adorable. Okay, last but certainly not least for the Jeffree Star palettes is actually the Jeffree Star and Shane Dawson Conspiracy Palette. Uh, and isn't she pretty? Now, I actually got this in the Beautylish um, Lucky Bag that they did this year for Jeffree Star. And I got really, really lucky because this palette is sold out right now. But... I have it and I got it in a lucky bag so I didn't even pay like I mean I guess I paid full price for it but I mean it's one of those things where like you pay us X amount and you get X amount of products it ends up being like more than what you actually paid so I just love this palette this is a really good another good grungy palette I feel like it just meets all my needs it has all the perfect shades in here these shades right here cheese dust and flame and hot I die for these shades I normally like a shimmer on my lid but just these two together yes it is everything it is everything I love it okay next we have two more on the bigger side of palettes. So the Storybook Cosmetics um, palettes, and I have two of them. I have the Wizard, Wizardry and Witchcraft palette, which looks like this, which they're designed to look like little books. As you can see, the Storybook Cosmetics are. And this one, honestly, I think I've, I've used this one time, maybe, or else I just swatched it, because there's just like little tiny indents in there but I don't remember ever using it so I think I just swatched it but it, it's not a bad palette like once again this is a really good grungy palette and I, your girl likes grungy palettes what what can I say I like grungy palettes but this one's pretty nice I, I like the blue I like the green I especially like the shade right here what is it called forever I can't read these handwriting like it's in cursive and it's like really sloppy cursive so I can't really read it sorry but this one's a pretty one Now, if you're like me and you like collecting palettes, then this one is one you definitely need to have. And this is a Storybook Cosmetics Burn Book, inspired by Mean Girls, the Burn Book, like in the movie Mean Girls. So this is just too funny to me. I love this palette. I have used this palette on occasion. On occasion meaning less than five times <laughs> but it is very pretty I actually do like this palette a lot so it has shades like Regina George so fetch cool mom she doesn't even go here you can't sit with us October 3rd gruel I know I'm doing these like way out of order I'm just doing them as I see them but I just think these are like such unique names and the palette is really pretty anyways so I just think it's an adorable little palette to have like I think it I think it cost me like 40 bucks so that's kind of expensive for these it's just pretty it's a nice little piece to have out too so I like that okay next bulky palette this one is an eyeshadow palette and a face palette together so this is the Physicians Formula Butter Collection X Casey Holmes. So this is really cool because it's got several things in here. It's got two bronzers, a highlight, or wait, no, a bronzer, a, a blush, a highlight, eyeshadows down here, a lip butter, and then it even has a little toilette, which smells like the butter bronzer. So that is just everything to me I feel like but this is what the eyeshadows look like they perform very well actually to be just like in a little pan like this I really like them and you can create really cute looks with these they they just swatch really well they they perform really well they're they're quite buttery and creamy so just to be four shades those are really nice to have so I've got one more bulky palette here and this is the oh it's got dust on it <laughs> This is the Game of Thrones palette from Urban Decay. So I bought this 
mainly because I am an Urban Decay fan. Just look at that, the way it opens up into the chair, the Iron Throne. So you can like set your phone there if you really wanted to, like actually utilize this. It's got a little space to like set something there if you wanted to. I mean, I bought it mainly for aesthetic looks just because I like the palette. So I'm not gonna set it out and ruin it, but I do like it. But this is the actual palette. It slides out of this little part right here. See this? It just slides right out of there. But this is the actual palette. The color story is not that great, to be honest. It's a little boring. And the quads don't really go together. Like, you would think they would make, like, four shadows to go together and then, like, a topper. Four shadows to go together and then a topper. Well, they don't necessarily jive together like that, as you can see. Especially this one down here. This one is all over the place. I have used this palette. It does perform pretty well. I mean, it's Urban Decay quality, so you have to expect that out of this palette. But it's not the greatest. It's not my favorite by far. I've used this a handful of times just to be using it, I think. Um, I really like the shade The Sight right here, but it doesn't perform like it looks in the pan so that's really disappointing that was like one of the reasons that I bought the palette was for that green and it just doesn't perform very well at all but um, there are a few shades in here that are good like Nymeria that one is just um, a matte shade I think there's only like two or three matte shades in here yeah there's only three matte shades in here there's Nymeria there's House Lannister and then Lannister Red and those are the only matte shades in the palette the rest of them are all shimmers so this palette is a little hard to work with but if you can get it to work it looks really pretty so there's that at least okay let's do more urban decay so next from urban decay i have the urban decay x kristen leanne palette this one came out a few years ago and I just really like the color story in it. It's really random and all over the place and the, the pan shapes are really random. It's not everyone's favorite palette. Like a lot of people I know really hate this palette just because of the way it's put together. I think it's absolutely stunning. Like I, every time I use this palette, I get compliments on my look. Every single time. It never fails. So I love this palette. This palette is like a tried and true of mine. I love to use this purple down here called Dye. Or even uh, LCW, Long Cool Woman. I love that. She was a long cool woman in a black dress. You guys know that song? No? Just me? Okay. So it's just... It's a random palette, but if you know how to work with color a little bit, it's really pretty and you can get some really inspiring looks out of this. So last from Urban Decay, I think it's the last one I have from Urban Decay. So this one is the Born to Run palette. I actually just dropped this like four or five days ago and shattered one, two, three, four, five shades in here. As you can see, these are empty pans. Uh, there's an empty pan right here, which was like my favorite shade in the whole palette, Stranded. This one right here, shattered, gone. She's gone, gone forever. So there's that. And then I had to repress these two shades right here just because they're crumbling now. You can probably see it a little bit, yeah. But this is the palette. It is a beautiful color story. I'm considering repurchasing it if it goes back on sale. This palette goes on sale all the time, so I would never pay full price for it. If it goes back on sale, I might repurchase it just to have that shade stranded again, just because I love that shade so much, and it is, it's gone now. So maybe I'll repurchase it, maybe I won't. Um, if it goes on sale, I probably will. So next we have my Juvia's Place palettes. I have the Masquerade Mini by Juvia's Place, and I also have the Warrior by Juvia's Place. These are both really great palettes. They're completely different color stories. One of them is a rainbow, one of them is brown. So here's the rainbow one. I absolutely love this palette. This is another palette that I like to use, and every time I use it, I get compliments on my look. So I, I will never abandon this palette. She's a tried and true. She's a real one. She stood by your girl. I don't, I'm not sure how to pronounce all these. I think they're all like cities, I think. I feel like they are, and I just am really 
uneducated in the ways of the world and I don't recognize the city names but it's a really pretty palette nonetheless and next we have the warrior which is just a brown tone palette it's really beautiful with the golds in there so that's a pretty palette not much to say about that one though it's it's a little boring to me to be honest just because I like a lot of color in my looks as you can see I like a lot of color so it's not like one of the palettes that I grab a lot. It's, it is one that I grab when I need a transition shade and I don't have one in a palette. This is absolutely perfect for it. Like there's every kind of transition shade in there that you could possibly want slash need. So that's great. So this is something from Instagram. This is was gifted to me by a friend. I'm not sure the name of the makeup company if it's bombshell cosmetics or mary jane beauty or what it's called but this is the palette it's got a little unicorn and it's smoking some weeds it's got some red eyes <laughs> so i think that's like really funny and cute but i'm not too crazy about the way it opens up because it just comes apart like like it's just magnetic and it just comes apart so I'm not crazy about that and the fact that the mirror is like on the other side you would like have to be holding your palette or set your palette down and then be holding this up. I'm not too crazy about that but I do like the color story in this and they swatch really well. So I've used it a few times and it performs pretty well. It um, tends to fade throughout the day so you definitely want to use like an eyeshadow primer with it or some kind of really good tacky base just because it does fade but it is a pretty good palette oh my gosh i missed this one sorry guys so when we were doing juvia's place palettes i missed this one this is the tribe by juvia's place which this one i don't think i've ever used this i think i've swatched it but i don't think i've ever actually used it i forgot that i owned it but that is a really pretty green color story I need to utilize this more. I need to set this out so I'll remember, like, set it out. <laughs> so I'll remember that I own it. So, like, just put it right there. Okay, thanks. Next I have my Natasha Denona Tropic Palette, which was gifted to me by a friend because I would never pay $129 for an eyeshadow palette. There's no way in hell. I just can't afford it. I would love to, but I just can't afford that. That's just really expensive for me. But I was gifted this by a friend. Um, but this is the color story. It's really, really pretty. Like, it's got all these nice transition shades up on the top row, all these fun shades and on the bottom. So it's got quite a lot to work with. I just, I'm just gonna be 100% honest and Tasha and Nona Shadows. Not my favorite. Everyone acts like they're like the holy grail of eyeshadows and I'm like, am I missing something here? Did I get the wrong palette? Because I have two Natasha and Nona palettes and neither one of them are amazing. Like this one's okay. The other one I have I don't like at all, but we'll get to that one when we get to that. But this one's, this one's pretty. It works. Especially if you have a wet brush, it works even better. So I'm not gonna doubt my Natasha Denona Tropic palette. I mean, I do like her and she is pretty. I just wish she was a little bit more um, inexpensive. <laughs> okay, next we have from Dose of Colors, the Friendcation palette from Katie and, what are their names? Desi and Katie, oh, it has it on the back right here. <laughs> Desi and Katie Friendcation palette. And this is the palette story which it's pretty. It's okay. I've used this one a handful of times as well. Actually, more than a handful of times. Um, I just, I've kind of veered away from it recently. Like, I really used to like these two shades right here, but recently I've just been using other things, and this has just not been grabbing my attention as much, so maybe I'll reach for it a little bit more in the future. We'll, we'll see. Uh, this is another one from BH Cosmetics. This is the, the Take Me Back to Brazil palette. I bought this specifically for um, Pride Week. I needed a green eyeshadow, and I didn't have the right shade of green. Like, I had all these greens in that Morphe palette that I bought for Halloween, but it wasn't the right shade of green. It was like, they were all wrong. So I bought, I just went ahead and, and bought this one just for this shade right there. And 
it is heavily abused but then I ended up using this one a lot and the yellow as well so I've got my money's worth out of this palette for sure I think it was only like 24 bucks so it's definitely worth it if you just need a rainbow palette and you just are looking for something pretty rainbowy something that'll get the job done this one's a good one and you don't have to spend $40 on the James Charles palette so that was my thinking on it anyways. Okay, next we have from MAC, the Pretty Punk palette. This one is one of my favorites. This was gifted to me by my fiance. Um, I was having a bad day and he just knows what I like and happened to swing by the MAC store and pick out the palette that I had been eyeballing anyways. Like I wanted this palette anyways. I had went by the MAC store and saw it and I was like, oh, I'll get it later. I'll come by another day or get it then. And he just grabbed it and was like, this is the one I thought would be your colors. And he was right. Boy, was he right. I love these colors. The purple, the green, the blue. It all speaks to me. It all calls my name. Okay, this is another palette that um, I feel like everyone is like, oh my god, these palettes are like the holy grail. And I was just like, is it though? Is it? Because it really just didn't work that well for me. This is the Pat McGrath Labs Mothership Sublime Bronze Temptation palette. And it's okay. I mean, it's a pretty color story and they work okay, but is it worth $60? No, no it's not. They're not phenomenal shadows. They're just like any other shadow. I mean, they do have like a little bit of shift to them, like the multi-chrome ones, like this one right here and then this little green shade up here. Like this one looks purple on camera, but it looks orange in person. So this one is a really cool one. I mean, they're really cool if you're just looking for like a quick one and done, swipe it on the lid and go type of shadow. Um, but if you're looking to create a look, these aren't the best. Like, they're not the greatest. You can't really play a lot with them. There's not a whole lot of building or blending. It's mostly just swipe it on and call it a day kind of shadow. So these are fun if you're in a hurry and you gotta go. But other than that, I don't think they're the greatest. Don't at me, okay? I'm so sorry if I offended you. It's just makeup. But that's just how I feel about this this palette in particular. Maybe I got the wrong palette. Because I know people say the, the original Mothership palette is absolutely amazing. So maybe I just got the wrong palette. Maybe I need to just experiment with some more palettes. I don't know. Next I got the Melt Cosmetics Smoke Sessions palette and I'm a little upset about this one because I bought it literally like two or three days before they went into Sephora. So I didn't get to get any points for it. I just bought it off the Melt um, Cosmetics website. <laughs> so um, this is the color story. It's really pretty. Unfortunately there are only two mattes in here. These two right here. And the rest of them are all shimmers. So it's kind of hard to create a look unless you're just doing the same two looks over and over again. Which, this is something, again, where I would dip into the Warrior palette and create like a uh, transition shade. That way I can utilize some more of these shades and create more than just the two looks that this provides me with. Okay, next I have a Too Faced palette. I don't really care for Too Faced palettes too much. They're just kind of gimmicky to me and like little kitty. But I did grab the Too Faced Gingerbread Spice Palette. This one's a Christmas palette and it does smell like gingerbread. So that's kind of enticing. But it does have a pretty color story, I thought. I don't really generally do neutrals, but I do like this pop of pink up here. This one. So I decided to go ahead and grab it just because I could do Christmas looks with it and it smells like gingerbread. So I own it now. It's a thing. It's already done. Just get over it. Okay, next we're going to step into some ABH palettes. Anastasia Beverly Hills. So the first one I have, once again, don't at me. This is the Subculture palette. Now I know it sucks. Everyone knows it sucks. But it is really pretty. It is really pretty. Oh shit, I just dropped eyeshadow everywhere. Okay, so this one is the Subculture palette, which I got this in my gratis. This was the first and only palette I received in my gratis from Sephora. And they gave it to us after they pulled it from the store. So it was like, thanks, I guess? But anyways, um, I received it and it was already broken. Um, these two shades up top, Axis and Mercury. 
which I repressed them, but Mercury just broke again when I opened it. So we're just going to show off this palette, the color store one time, and then close it up so it doesn't spill everywhere again. <laughs> But um, it does have a pretty color story, like as far as grungy palettes go. Once again, your girl likes grungy palettes. Colorful or grungy palettes. I love neutral palettes. Can kind of go one way or the other. I don't really care. Yeah, I just wish that it worked well, you know? Because we all know the story behind Subculture. It just was not pressed enough, and it was too pigmented, and it doesn't blend well, and it looks patchy, and when you try and blend the colors together, it just turns into mud, and it's just not the greatest palette. I wish that it was, because the color story is, I love it. I love the color story. But it's just not what it needs to be, so I'll probably be decluttering that pretty soon. Oh my god, I have eyeshadow all over my fingers now. Great. Excuse the eyeshadow all over my hands. It's from the Subculture palette. It just spilled everywhere and I don't know what to do with my life now. So just excuse that. So next from uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills, we have the Riviera palette, which is a nice cute summer palette. It's a good little fun color story. I bought it basically for the purples and the gold in there right above it. I thought that was really pretty. But I've used this palette maybe one time and then I put it away and just kind of forgot about it. So we're gonna try and utilize this baby a little bit more this summer and see how we like it. Cause I really can't tell you if I like the palette or not. Like I'm pretty sure I do because it's Anastasia Beverly Hills. But I've only used it a handful of times and I don't even remember what looks I created with it. So I'll have to try this one out again and see if I like it. Next we have, this is brand new to me. I just got this during the President's Day sale at Sephora. So this is the Jackie Ina palette from ABH. And this one, I absolutely love this palette. I had been dying for this palette for months and I was like, no, I don't need another palette. I'm not going to spend another $45 on a palette because I don't need one. But this one I just love so much and it went on sale for like $31 and plus I'm an employee at Sephora so I get a discount. So I was like, fuck yeah dude, give me that palette. So I snatched it up, ended up paying like $24 for it or something like that. So it's definitely worth it when you look at it in that aspect. This palette is absolutely stunning to me. I really, really love this palette. I cannot wait to keep playing with it and create more looks. This white shade right here shows up pretty golden, which is pretty amazing to me. I just love that shit. <laughs> so this palette has a special place in my heart right now. Okay, next we have the Alyssa Edwards palette from ABH. This one is also another palette that has a close place in my heart. Look at these shades, you guys. Like, just looking at it, like, at first glance, you're like, what the fuck? But then you look at it again, you're like, oh, okay, that, that's a nice palette. That's a pretty nice palette. Because you have, like, your nice neutral shades. Where you can create, like, any kind of neutral look. Uh, even with these over here. And then in the middle, you've got your fun, colorful shades going on. So, that one's just a really fun palette, too. You can pretty much do, like, a rainbow look with this. You can do, like, a wide eye, a cut crease. You can you can do a lot of stuff with this palette. This palette screams to me. I love this palette. Next, I have the Modern Renaissance palette from ABH. This one is just okay. Everyone loves this palette. I think it's just okay. Um, it's It matches my Sephora outfit pretty well. So, I like to wear it um, to work a lot. So, it's pretty heavily abused. But is it my favorite palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills? No. No, it's not. I think the Jackie Ina one is. But before Jackie Ina came along was the Norvina palette. And this one was my favorite palette. And it is really pretty. It's got this entire first row of just shimmers. And the entire bottom row is mattes. And it's kind of laid out to where you can do like a color, a color, a color, a color. Like that way. You can do like a look just according to the pans if that makes any sense just go down so that's kind of neat but then you can also like jumble them up and create any kind of color story like that so i really like this palette a lot it's one of my favorites it was my favorite for a while until the jackie anna palette arrived in my collection and now that one is probably my favorite okay so next let's get into some mini palettes so these are my mini palettes Oh, I dropped them everywhere. So this is a Sephora palette, just called the I Love palette in the shade Light Cool. So this one is not my favorite palette. I got this because I'm a Sephora collection ambassador and they send me stuff. So they send me Sephora collection stuff to kind of use and try and give people the rundown. 
This one's not my favorite palette. It's just really boring to me. They have more I Love palettes, like a darker one with a green and orange shade that I would have loved to have. But they didn't send me that one. They sent me this one. So this one's... It's okay. It's not my favorite. Next we have the Too Faced Razzle Dazzle Berry Eyeshadow Palette. This one right here. And yes, it still smells like raspberries. So this is just a fun purpley palette that you girl loves because you know your girl loves purples. So there's that one. And then we have my next Natasha Denona palette, which is the Lila, the mini Lila palette. And this one, I really don't like this palette, to be honest with you guys. It's hard to work with. It doesn't come off as pretty as it is in the pan. It's just overpriced and not very cute. And my daughter actually got a hold of this and I was like, oh my God, she has one of my makeup palettes. No, and I started freaking out. And then I was like, oh, it's the Lila palette. Like I didn't care. Like that's how much I don't like this palette. Save your money. Next we have, this is just a little drugstore palette that I have, but it's so cute that I can't get rid of it. It's the Wet n Wild Pac-Man palette. This came out during the summer of last year and I just think it's so cute. This is the color story. It's just like really random bright colors that kind of attract me anyways. So I really like this palette. I think it's cute. It performs surprisingly well to be a Wet n Wild palette. I think it was only like 10 bucks at the drugstore. So way to go Wet n Wild. Next I have two Huda Beauty palettes. I have the first one is the um, Huda Beauty Amethyst Obsessions palette. This is just a purple palette. It's really pretty. I love purples. This was actually gifted to me by my friend Kim as well. So thank you Kim. I love the purples in here. They're, they're absolutely stunning and you know I love a good purple look so this one is perfect for me. And then we have the Huda Neon palette in this shade orange. I think there's three different ones. There's there's the green one, the lime green one, the pink one, and the orange one. And I have the orange ones. This is what she looks like on the inside which I die for this pink shade right there. Die for it absolutely beautiful that color story just blows me away i've really been attracted to mini palettes lately for some reason they've really been grabbing my attention oh i have a third hood of palette this is the nude light palette this is what she looks like on the inside i'm actually doing a friend's makeup for her wedding in june so this is the palette that i will be using on her i think it's going to be really stunning next from abh i have the mini norvina palette in the number two so this is what she looks like on the inside. I bought it because I liked the bigger Norvina palette, the number three actually, but I couldn't afford the $60 palette and I really just liked this orange shade right there and it's pretty much the same orange shade. Oh, well, almost. It's not the same orange shade, but it's almost the same orange shade that's in the larger Norvina number three. So I went ahead and just bought this one instead of spending the $60 on the large palette. I probably should have just got the large palette because it's more bang for your buck. But this one is pretty, it does speak to me, and I have created quite a few looks with it. So I'm not mad at it at all. Next we have, oh I forgot I had these, I should have included these in the Jeffree Star uh, collection. But these are the mini palettes. I have the mini breaker right here, which this is a really pretty color story. This is another shade, or another palette I mean, where I would dip into the Warrior from Juvia's Place to create a full look, just because it doesn't have I mean, it does have some transition shades in there, but it doesn't have like that brown that I generally go for. So again, I would reach for the Juvia's Place palette. And next we have the Jeffree Star and Shane Dawson Mini Controversy palette. So this one's really, this palette is absolutely amazing. It blends beautifully. It is perfect. I have no complaints. She's, she's beautiful. Next, I have two ColourPop palettes. These are my last two palettes, and this is the first ColourPop palette I ever bought. This is the Zodiac palette by Kathleen Lights and ColourPop. So this one's pretty. I bought it basically because it's a Zodiac palette, and I'm really into the Zodiac theme. So it has, um, each sign has a different shade. My sign is the Virgo, so I get the dark brown, which is suiting for Virgos. I don't care what Virgos say if they're like, I don't like dark brown. Eh. It suits a Virgo, so you know what? Just deal with it. I love the palette. I think it's absolutely stunning, and I've used it on quite a few occasions, and I will continue to utilize it. Lastly, last in the palette collection, dun dun dun, we have come to the end, my friends. This is the 
Ooh La La palette from ColourPop. This is the all pink monochromatic palette that they came out with. It's really pretty. I had like zero pink shadow, so I thought I would go ahead and buy this one. It's really, really pretty, I think. And it just creates some really pretty looks, especially this purple down here, because you know, your girl likes purple. So yeah, I think I'm a, I might invest in the Uh Huh Honey palette from ColourPop, if you guys have seen that one. That's the next one I think I'm gonna buy. Let me know what you think about that one, if that one's a good palette, or if you tried it, if you wanna like, get it yourself, just blah, 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 whatever. So that is going to be it for my palette collection, you guys. I hope that you really enjoyed the tour or whatever you want to call this, this mess that we just made with eyeshadows all over the place. There's still the subculture palette all over my pants. It's all over my pants. It's never going to go away. It's never going to go away. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. You know, I greatly appreciate it. If you like my vibe and you want to see more of me, hit the subscribe button. It's somewhere down there in that corner somewhere. So go ahead and do that for yourselves. Do it for me. Do it for your mom. She's going to appreciate it. <laughs> I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I'll be seeing you again soon, alright? I love you. Peace out.